hello hello and welcome to my channel my name is Kat I am the nurse flipper I am a full-time reseller on eBay Poshmark Mercari and Etsy and today I am going to show you only high dollar sales that sold from about $45 all the way up to 400 for me out of my own store in the last two weeks i also am going to throw in some bonus sales from etsy as well as poshmark that might surprise you i get a lot of high dollar sales on etsy and we get some on poshmark as well so i thought for a fun added bonus in this one i'm going to show you ebay high dollar sales as well as poshmark and etsy All right, so I am going to show you the eBay sales first. Again, all of these are from my own store and they have sold in the last two weeks. I will tell you where I got the item. I will tell you how much I paid and I will tell you how long it took to sell. This first one is a Murano clown that sold in two days. This is a Murano clown. I did put spatter, hand-blown art glass figurine, nine inches tall. He was playing the accordion. He sold in just one day for $48.99 plus the buyer paid shipping with shipping and tax the buyer was $63 all in I got this Murano clown in an online auction lot I actually got three of them for $20 so I'm about $7 in and this is about a $35 profit up next is a pair of license plates so in my experience the pairs of license plates do sell for more than single plates most of the time unless they are vanity plates Dalton wishes he was a dragon so I research every license plate that I listed they are all listed down in my store and it is amazing varying between state and the year there is a big price difference so if you are looking at sourcing license plates I would look up the individual state unless you're getting them in a big bulk buy like I did I paid a thousand dollars for about 1300 license plates was the final count this pair sold for $60. So this is a vintage Ohio 1951 pair of tags. They sold for $60 plus the buyer paid shipping. I am less than $2 into these and these are about a $50 profit. All right, up next is the first of 10 type and daguerreotype photos you are going to see. I bought a big lot of about 30 of them for $50, so I'm about $2 in each. And all of the ones in this video sold within hours of me listing them. Now, keep in mind, only four of them sold that quick. There are still about 25 listed that have not sold, but subject matter is very important when it comes to the daguerreotypes this one didn't even have a case with it and actually one of the higher dollar ones didn't either so this is a 10 type daguerreotype portrait i did put young girls i put plaid dresses and they had bloomers on that you could clearly see this one sold for 75 dollars and was about a 65 dollar profit and again it sold in under an hour all right, up next is a really cool piece of artwork that I could not figure out the artist. And I think if I had figured out the artist, it might have sold for a little more money, but I only paid $5. It sold for $69, so it's still a good sale. This is a signed zebra original watercolor acrylic painting. I did put art, rainbow background. It sold for $69.98 plus the buyer paid shipping. This one did take about three months to sell, so it was a little bit longer tail. The buyer was almost $85 all in, and this is over a $60 profit. All right, up next is the only item in this video that was an auction. This is a ring that I actually bought for myself but it ended up not fitting so I did decide to put it on auction I did pay I believe close to $50 so this one is not much of a profit but if you happen to get lucky and come across a gold ring doing an auction might be a good idea this is a women's natural pearl opal 10 karat it actually was white gold, so I mistyped in my title. This was a size seven. I did put lattice work and delicate. 
it sold for the 71 I paid 50 so I might have made a $10 on this not a lot but it was a 10 day auction with my auctions what I typically like to do is have them end on a Friday, Saturday, or Sunday night. So I will either do a five day, seven day, or 10 day auction depending on when I want it to end or when I'm listing it. I want to make sure it ends on those weekend days because I think you have more eyeballs on it. This next sale was actually two items. They sold in combination for $75. These sold in under a day from listing as well from that same big auction buy that I did. I paid $20 for a lot of quite a few Asian and Oriental items and these two sold for a combination of 75. So the first one is this vintage handmade Oriental car food dog. This was a miniature, it was only two inches big and this one sold for $30 and that was a great sale so just this one paid for the whole lot and then here is the uh, the other piece that sold this is a vintage handmade asian man on bull it is silver tone this is not a sterling piece and this one sold for 45 dollars so both of these sold within a day and together they are over a 50 dollar profit and everything else that was in that lot is all profit all right, up next to some magazines. Now, granted, these did take almost a year to sell, but I only paid $5 and they sold for $75. This is a lot of 55 firearms news magazines from 2016 to 2019. I did put tactical weapons in the title. The lot of 55 sold for $75 plus the buyer paid shipping. So they were a total of $114 in, and this is over a $65 profit. All right, up next is a dark green jade necklace. I get asked all the time how I identify jade, and typically the auctions I buy from are higher dollar auctions, and they will certify the jade before they list it. So I do not have any tips on identifying it if you're finding it out in the wild or in a jewelry lot but this next one sold for $120. This is a vintage 1970s dark green jade and gold ball bead necklace. It was 32 inches long, so it was a longer necklace. I was less than $5 into this necklace and it sold for $120 plus the buyer paid shipping with taxes they were a total of 143.90 in and this one did take about six to eight months to sell but it was over a hundred dollar profit all right this next vase could have been a lotes vase i was not sure so i did not put any brand in it and this one sold in a day for 125 dollars i paid 30 dollars for this one this is a vintage six inch iridescent bud vase again it could have been a lotes which means it could have been more valuable and could explain why it sold so fast this one i did put pearl gold glass wrap studio art hand blown and sold for 125 and this one was about an 80 dollar profit all right the next five items are all antique photographs they all sold for $150 or more and they all sold in a few hours they sold really really fast so the first one this is an antique quarter plate so this one was a little bit bigger than the other ones you will see this is a daguerreotype in a half case I did put man and suit sitting tall and proper this one sold for $149.99 again this one sold in an hour I am less than two dollars in so this one is about a hundred and thirty dollar profit and it's actually a lot of two that sold in combination for $155 so they sold for about $75 each and again they sold in hours after they were listed the first one is a vintage proper young man daguerreotype half case this one was tented so he had like the pink color applied to his cheek this one was from the 1850s this one sold for 75 dollars and then here the second one this guy looked like abraham lincoln so i use that in my title as a keyword i put vintage photo of young man abraham lincoln look daguerreotype this was another half case so it did not have the front cover and this one sold for 80 dollars 
All right, this next one is actually a photograph with no case and it sold in minutes for $150. This is a six plate daguerreotype. I did put affectionate men because older pictures of gay men or gay couples sell very, very well. I put good friends, couple, question mark, and circus animals. If you look at this picture, these guys were behind one of the little circus boards that you can stand behind to take photos. And this one sold in minutes for $149. All right. The last of the pictures in the top, we still have after this one, five more eBay plus a lot of Etsy and Poshmark high dollar sales. Don't, don't go anywhere. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. I forget to say that all the time. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Turn on the bell notifications. If you want to help support the channel, hit that join button below any video. Check out the different membership options. And thank you for being here and thank you for watching me. So this is an antique 18th century miniature portrait. This was a gold frame from the 1800s. This one sold in about six hours for $175. I paid $30 for this, so it's about $120 profit. Some people watched my video and actually told me I probably could have got three, four, five hundred dollars for this, but I'm okay with that quick profit and quick sale. All right, this next item sold for three hundred dollars. It is a statue, it is knuckle bones, and it is of Ted Nugent. This is a Ted Nugent Knuckle Bones Rock Icons Collector Limited Series. This one was made 3000 so it's not really a low number but it sold for good money and this one sold in about three months and i did pay 140 dollars for this so it's about 120 dollars profit after fees all right the top four this so next one is another from my last auction haul sold in two days it is a dresden compote and when i was researching this I realized I was missing the bowl that goes on top of the stand and I did not realize that when I had comped it. So luckily I was able to go over to Worth Point and actually found somebody else that was just selling the base. So I had a great comp to price my item because otherwise I would have no clue what the value of the bowl that was missing was but I found another base that sold and this one sold really fast so this is an antique Dresden porcelain Taza figural centerpiece base column this was marked Dresden it was marked in Germany I paid $30 for this it sold in two days for $200 making it about a hundred and twenty dollar profit all right this next one took a while to sell and honestly, I, I would not pick this up again. So I did only pay $20. It sold for $100. It's about a $60 profit, but it was an 18-inch glass bowl. And honestly, packing an 18-inch glass bowl, I used Instapacks. And once I did subtract for that, it really wasn't that much of a profit. And it wasn't worth the hassle for $100. This is a vintage Vetro Esquito. Secondo Murano, Italy, 18 inch bowl. It did have the sticker on it. That's how I was able to identify it. It actually sold for $105. Again, after the Insta packs, I really made maybe $50 and it just honestly would not be worth picking up again. All right. Up next is a piece of art that I thought would sell for more. It was attributed to Jakob, Jakob Agam but it was not signed and I didn't realize how much trouble I would have because it wasn't signed. So it took about eight months to sell. I had it listed at 600. Yakov Agam that are signed sell for thousands of dollars. So I was thinking I could get 600 since it was attributed by the art gallery that I purchased it from, but I had a hard time. So I paid 120, finally accepted an offer of $300, made about 130, $140 in profit, and I'm glad it's gone. I probably will not pick up any big paintings 
unless the subject matter is absolutely insane. So this is a Yakov Agam Modern Abstract Serograph Lenticular, 33 inches. So it's pretty big. I do ship these big art pieces in TV boxes that I buy from Amazon. I believe they have them at U-Hauls as well. So this one again sold for $300. The buyer did pay $100 in shipping and they were a total of $424 in. I'm glad to just have a little bit of profit and I learned a lesson. All right, we are up to the highest selling on eBay and then we're going to look at Poshmark and Etsy. So this last one is a sculpture that I broke the fingers off of. I luckily had this UV light glue, which is like a miracle. I will I will put that down in the comments too. So this UV light glue is activated by this black light. And so you can wipe the excess glue off and then you point it at it and it cures instantly. Lifesaver for me on that. It has also been a lifesaver on a couple of other things that have broke. And I think it's only like six or eight dollars. It's pretty cheap. So had items actually the clown you saw earlier was the guilty party um had them in the cart to move them out that clown tipped over hit the fingers on the statue broke them off the highest on worth point of this that had sold sold for 200 dollars. i had it priced at 700 even with broke fingers because it was the artist proof it was the only one ever like it made and i felt that made it valuable so I got an offer of $400 and I'm thinking like, okay, I only paid $30 for this statue. I broke the fingers. They're offering me $400. Should I take it? I, it took me a few minutes and I decided it's only been listed a day. I'm going to counter them at $500. Brad, Brad is my husband if you do not know. Brad told me I was absolutely crazy and I heard nothing from the buyer for a day but the next day I woke up to a counter offer of $450 and I said I'm taking this I'm running with it because I was like man should I have accepted the 400 but it did give me 50 more dollars so let me show you this sculpture this is a vintage Laszlo I spanky semi nude figurine the name of it was Dawn and this is the artist proof. You can see I did put C in my title because I wanted them to read it. I wanted them to see the close up pictures that the fingers had been broken and still got $450. So if you have an artist proof, whether it is a sculpture or figurine or an original artwork, know that you can get more money for it than one of the reproductions. All right, you ready for some Etsy sales? These Etsy sales are not going to go in any price orders, so they will be all over the place. But I haven't shared my high dollar Etsy sales or high dollar Poshmark sales in a very, very long time. So up first is another jade necklace. This is a vintage Chinese good luck. And I know that because I use Google Lens to translate that writing for me this was a disc pendant on a 120th 12k gold chain i did put a state this one sold for 85 dollars. i was only about 10 dollars in so this one was about a 65 dollar profit all right you saw the photos on ebay now i'm going to show you some photos that sold on etsy this is a vintage set of three miniature gold tone metal victorian frames i am less than ten dollars in and these sold on etsy for 85 dollars they are small they are wallet size and this was over a 65 dollar profit all right the next one is another one that is actually chipped i picked this up at the thrift store for only six dollars it was working so i was glad to see it was working but it was chipped it's still sold for sixty dollars this is a waterford crystal ireland large lismore mantle clock it is tested it was working i do have c pick because it was chipped on the base a little bit and it still sold for 64 dollars making it about a 50 dollar profit 
And I will tell you, with all of my sales on eBay, Etsy, and Poshmark, I do charge the buyer shipping. I do not do free shipping. So the buyer paid the amount that I'm telling you, plus they paid for the shipping. This next one is a vintage Colonial Virginia Williamsburg ceramic redware pottery. This is like a bird bottle house, and it was marked. I luckily found this on google lens because i had no idea what this thing was but it sold for 43 dollars plus the buyer paid shipping this next item was a really good sale sold for 51 dollars, and i got it at the goodwill bins in birmingham alabama i paid less than a dollar this is the real deal made in brazil authentic recycled tarp hat I did put Crocodile Dundee. You can see this one has rusted grommets there. I think they're called grommets. Um, it was pretty rough shape. I'm not sure. I think some of them are made like that. Maybe at, from old tarps, but this one sold for $51. Over a $45 profit. Make sure to watch for these because some of these hats can sell for really, really big money. Up next is an Hermes tie. I typically do not pick up ties. People have asked me to do high dollar videos on ties, but I typically don't have good luck with ties. But when I see the name Hermes, I pick it up. This is a Hermes tie, navy blue and red paisley. This one sold for $91 and I am less than $5 into this tie. It was over an $80 profit. Up next is a little blue Fenton Bear, and I got a lot of these in a tray lot from an online auction, and I paid less than $5. It sold for $51. This is a vintage Fenton Cobalt Blue Bear, three inch paperweight, so it's a small little bear, and it sold for $51, and it sold in about two months. All right, up next is a slide rule. If you are not familiar, slide rules are engineer tools and if you come across any i would pick them up there are some that sell for hundreds and hundreds of dollars and i have sold some for hundreds and hundreds of dollars i think i had some in my last high dollar video this one sold for 68. this is a vintage 1947 k and e log duplex desitrig slide rule with the leather case it also had the manual this one sold for 68 i paid less than ten dollars for this and this was about a fifty dollar profit this next one is absolutely great it's probably my favorite item on here because i got it from a free box sitting in front of a thrift store no cost in sold for 118 dollars in one day this is a vintage 1967 skip bow card game this one sold for 118 i have no cost in it was in the free box so this is well over a hundred dollar profit watch out for this original skip bow game it sells and it sells fast all right up next is a sun catcher and this one sold for almost 50 dollars i bought a lot of close to 50 sun catchers for 80 dollars, so i'm about two dollars in this one sold in under a month this is a vintage i did put large mid-century modern seven and a half inch stained glass sun catcher this one did have a crack there on the blue and it still sold for almost 50 and the buyer left positive feedback so this one was about a 40 dollar profit all right next is a Mydeke piece which is one of my favorite potters i was not familiar with him and i was lucky enough to find a whole collection of his pieces from an online estate auction there were only 26 listed on ebay when i found these and i found over 50 pieces so most of the ones listed on ebay are mine i still have quite a few left this next one was a little cup tiny little cup and it sold for 117 dollars this is a vintage mid-century modern lewis mydeke studio art pottery blue abstract i did put asian because it was smaller like the little asian teacups this one sold for 117 i paid about eight dollars so this one was about a hundred dollar profit all right this next one is the biggest sale of the whole video and it's another knuckle bone statue 
look up the knuckle bones some of them can be valuable some are more just bread and butter but this next one is a randy rhodes one and it sold for over fifteen hundred dollars this is a knuckle bones randy rhodes 2 there was another randy rhodes knuckle bones that was not worth as much this one i paid about 350 dollars for sold for 1500 so it's about a thousand dollar profit and it sold in about three months all right we have a blanket a vintage beater lac blanket that sold on etsy this is a vintage throw beater lac blanket fall i did put cabin leaves mosaic print it was reversible and this one actually had stains i did photograph them i did note it and it still sold for 55 i paid four dollars for this at the thrift store and it was about a 40 dollar profit all right this next one is a piece i picked up at goodwill i picked up five pieces of franciscan desert rose for twenty dollars so i'm about four dollars in this next one sold for 43 and it sold really fast i have had great luck with franciscan rose on etsy my franciscan rose i put on etsy sells pretty fast so this is a vintage franciscan rose or franciscan desert rose covered vegetable dish with the lid it was made in england and it sold for 43 i again i'm about four dollars in so this one's about a 35 dollar profit all right we have another lewis mighty piece another tea tiny one and it sold for over 250 dollars this is a mid-century modern mighty key splash cobalt blue lidded jar northwest studio pottery sold for 254 i paid eight so this is over a 200 dollar profit it did take about six months to sell so it does take the right buyer but mydeke didn't do very many pieces with the cobalt blue so the pieces i got with cobalt blue i did price up all right this next one is a vintage cremence bracelet 120th gold filled and i only paid five dollars i did work out something with this buyer so i sold it to her for 50. this is a vintage cuff bracelet it is cremence i did put scroll waves ocean design again sold for 50 so this one was about a 40 dollar profit all right last on etsy is an amazing blanket or it could be used as a rug this one just sold this week it sold for 85 i paid about five so it's about a 65 dollar profit this is a vintage 70s hand woven tazute carrying fabric tablecloth could be used for a rug a blanket whatever they want it is small 37 by 34 again sold for 85 and this one was about a 70 dollar profit all right you ready for five poshmark sales and then we will be done the first of the poshmark sales is decorative collector's plates i typically do not pick up collector's plates i do not recommend you do typically because most of them were really mass produced so it's hard to even sell them really low but this was a set of pocahontas disney plates this is a bradford disney pocahontas i did put the collection up together they sold for 105 dollars on poshmark i did have the certificates of authenticity with them i paid about 10 so this one's about an 80 dollar profit all right another mighty key piece $129 sale and it sold on Poshmark. This is a vintage four inch Lewis Mydeke Studio Pottery Bud Vase Peach Stoneware sold for $129. Again, I paid $8 for all of the Mydeke pieces each. And this one is about a hundred dollar profit. And again, this one took a little bit longer, about six months to sell. All right, the Franciscan Desert Rose selling over on Poshmark as well. This is a vintage Franciscan Desert Rose casserole dish. Another one of the pieces I told you I paid $4 for. This one sold for $58 on Poshmark and is about a $40 profit. All right, some Ed Hardy shoes. I got these in a shoe lot. I am about $5 in. They sold on Poshmark for $64. This is Men 
men's Ed Hardy. They were size 11. They were low top sneakers. They are laceless and they do have the skull on there. So this was a great sale. I love the blue and purple of these shoes. They sold over on Poshmark for about a $40 profit. Poshmark does take a little more in fees, but this was a great sale. All right, last up on Poshmark. And if you notice, my Poshmark sales are not really all clothing and shoes. You can sell almost everything on Poshmark that you can sell on eBay. So this is a vintage antique carved cameo and marcasite necklace. This was sterling silver, sold for $65. I paid about $5 for this. So it's close to a $50 profit and it's sold in under a month. All right, that is the end of my high dollar sales. I do want to go ahead and give you the opportunity to win a free month of List Perfectly. So write in your comment. Do not type it in the chat. If you're watching the premiere, don't type in the chat. Don't type in the chat. It has to be in the comments for me to choose a winner from. So put List Perfectly down in the comments. If you are not trying List Perfectly yet, I do have a code, the Nurse Flipper. All one word, no spaces. You will save 30% off your first month if you would like to try it. That is how I get all my listings from eBay, which is my main platform, over to Etsy, Mercari, and Poshmark. It is really, really easy, very much worth the money that they charge. It is not a free service, but it works very, very well. I've used it for over two years and the co-founders, Amanda and Clara, are very, very reseller oriented. And that is something that is very, very important to me that I support other businesses, especially those that were resellers, just like I am. So put this perfectly, you will be entered to win the contest. If you don't win, or if you wanna go ahead and start trying it, they will refund you a month if you do win and you're already paying. You can use my code again, the Nurse Flipper. I appreciate you watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Enjoy the rest of your week. Happy hump day. As I always say on Wednesdays, I will see you on Friday. Bye for now.